Hi guys, here is Julie from Indigo Handmade Design. Welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like and ring the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how to crochet this stitch. It is a shell stitch, it's very easy to make. It goes really fast, you can use the stitch to make summer cardigans, tops, dresses, you name it. You can use the yarn that you have in your stash. Okay, so let's see what I'm using and let's get started. Okay, so in my today's tutorial to make this stitch, I'm going to use this yarn. I'll put all the information into the description box down below this video, so don't forget to check this out. And in addition to the yarn, I am going to use a 6 mm crochet hook. The stitch that we are going to make, it's a shell stitch, it is a multiple of 8 and it's a 2 row repeat. Okay, so to start your swatch, go ahead and chain a multiple of 8, so make first a slip knot, this doesn't count as a stitch, and now chain a multiple of 8. Plus five. So one, two, three, four, five. And now yarn over and count eight chains. So down your hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the next one, we are going to make two double crochets. chain one and two more double crochets all in the same chain okay now chain one yarn over skip one two three and in your next make one double crochet chain one yarn over skip one two three and in your next make two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets all in the same chain chain one skip three one two three and in the next double crochet chain one skip three and in the next two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets all in the same chain chain one skip three and in your last chain make one double crochet okay so this is your first row as I said the pattern that we are making it's a multiple of eight plus five and it's a two row repeat okay let's start the second row to start your second row chain four this counts as a double crochet and there's a one chain space between turn your work now yarn over we are going to work in this chain here, so in between our double crochets and make one double crochet. Now chain three, one, two and three, yarn over and make another double crochet in the same one chain space. Like this. 
Now chain one, yarn over, one double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row. Chain one, yarn over, and go to your next one chain space in between your double crochets and make one double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet in the one chain space, like so. Chain one, yarn over, one double crochet on top of your next double crochet from the previous row, chain one, yarn over, and go to your one chain space and make one double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet in the same one chain space. Oops. Sorry about that, my yarn get tangled. Now chain one. And we are going to make our last double crochet. So you are going to skip this chain here. So you are skipping your double crochets and this chain and go in your second chain to make your last stitch, which is a double crochet. Okay, so these are the two rows that we are going to repeat. Okay, so let me show you how to start again your first row. Now go ahead and chain four. This is your first double crochet and the one chain space. Yarn over. And now it's very easy. We are going to make inside of our three chain space two double crochets. So we are repeating our first row, chain one, and two more double crochets, chain one, and go to your next double crochet from the previous row and make one double crochet on top, chain one, to your one chain, uh, three chain space double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets in the same three chain space. Chain one, double crochet on top of your double crochet, chain one, in your three chain space, make two double crochets, chain one and two more double crochets chain one and now we are going to make our last double crochet so you are going to skip one chain and in your next so if you are counting for here from here or you can count from here one two in your third chain make your last stitch which is a double crochet now I'm going to work this second row with you one more time. So to start your next row, chain four counts as a double crochet and a one chain space in between. Turn your work, yarn over and go to your one chain space in between your double crochets and make double crochet, chain three, and one more double crochet in the same one chain space. Chain one, double crochet on top of your double crochet from the previous row. Chain one, in between your double crochets, double crochet, chain three, and one double crochet. Chain one, double crochet on top of your double crochet chain one to your next space double crochet chain three and another double crochet chain one and now make your last stitch which is again a double crochet in your third chain one two three Okay, so this stitch is super easy to make and it goes really fast. 
Okay, so guys, I went ahead and I crochet a few more rows. So as you see, I am at the end of my tutorial. Thank you all for joining me today. I hope this was fun and I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye bye.